Right, so I'm welcoming Aisha back again because uh, she's been away for a while. Hello, <laughs> Aisha. Hello, Israel, and I miss all of you out there. It's good to be back again. Most people love action movies. And don't forget uh, to send your comments on facebook.com slash join news on TV and on Twitter is on join news on TV. You know, most people love action movies, but when it happened in broad daylight at Abekan La Paz, people were shocked. Earlier this week, two policemen were shot by armed robbers. One survived the attack, but his colleague didn't make it. According to the Interior Minister, the policemen were on community patrol and they didn't have weapons on them. But considering what occurred, we are asking a simple question. Should policemen always have weapons on them? I think so. It's a very good thing. They might have weapons on them in order to keep themselves safe. If any anybody is setting an alarm to shoot them or something, they can defend themselves. You know, you can't just uh, accept. You can't just uh, how can you defend yourself when you are in this that spot? Let me say, just as I walk in, going for chopping or you whatever. So I'm a policeman. I'm not with anything, and they start shooting when. Uh, the process, I can. It, it, it might happen that I, I, I lost my life. What happened? What, 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 what would I? What would I say? As in, what would? What would be my defense? As in, what would I use to defend myself? I would say yes, because the uh, ordinary man is carrying a damn robber is carrying a gun, while the police they are supposed to handle guns, but they were not. According to the story, the gun was not uh, uh, correct or in proper use. So they were supposed, supposed to, police are supposed to carry guns. I think policemen should always have weapons on them. Look at US, look at a developed country. They always have their weapons by them. So the police should always have the weapons by them. Happen at La Paz, if they shouldn't, if they should have had a, a weapons and everything on them, they would have also defend themselves so as no one can shoot them or something. <laughs> All right, so a lot of comments are also on Facebook. Israel, let's see them. John Ennis says, well, most of these policemen themselves live, in, live a negative lifestyle. Some are heavy drinkers and could be seen in broad daylight taking alcohol whilst on duty and must be prevented from carrying mini weapons like pistols as protection against robbers. Uh, Jack just called me, says, boss, even though... Uh, what you are saying may hold water to some extent. I wouldn't agree with you. Why? Because the police are supposed to protect life and property. And as a matter of fact, his life first. And if he's not armed, how then can he protect his life? Talk less of protecting other lives and properties. That happens to be his core mandate. Senior, I stand to be corrected. By a German says, absolutely yes. It will give signals to the criminal that all their criminal activities will be responded to with equal measure. Every police personnel should be well and fully armed when on duty. And Ankoma Ike says, absolutely, yes, because the major difference between the police and we, the normal citizens, is their gun and their uniform. They should always carry their guns along when patrolling, and due to that, they can overwhelm the bad-minded people with fear. All right, so those are some comments on Facebook. Also, according to a study by an American sociologist, when people marry at age 32, their marriages are five times more likely to end in divorce. However, if one marries before age 32, their marriage has a stronger chance of surviving. Question, would you marry early to avoid divorce? <laughs> Yeah, I would like to marry early because when you marry early, it makes you study the person, to know the person longer. And for your first 10 years or for your first five years, there will be mistakes. You learn about each other to know each other well. You see, when you start dating, you know a lot of things about the person, but you don't really know a person's character until the ring is on her finger. So after the ring is on her finger for about 10 years, you know the person very well then after onwards you become more like brother and sisters too intimate so there's no need for a divorce it's a matter of marrying early yeah because i have a friend of experience that she married at the, at the age of 24 and she's no more with her husband yeah so is it too early or not um marry early just to avoid getting a divorce i mean get avoiding get uh, a divorce is very important like i mean i would do anything to avoid a divorce 
anything that's right, just because I don't, I wouldn't want to be divorced. But getting married early, um, I think I will. But not exactly because I wouldn't want to get an, I wouldn't want to get divorced. But just because I think it's better to get married early. Personally, I feel I should get married early. It's an interesting research, uh, Israel. Yes, but, it is uh, interesting. Unfortunately, in Ghana, the reverse I have seen. Well, we, we, we can't. I, I, I'm, I'm suspecting that this research was done somewhere. Yes, in it the US. was done in the and US. It may not necessarily apply to our situation, which is yes. what Judicious is talking about. Okay. He says, I think this service for Americans, not we Africans, <laughs> because we Africans have our own way of uh, marriage and divorce, which differs from American. Because a white man can meet a lady today and decide to marry her tomorrow, which may be ac acceptable, unlike in Africa. Nidoku says, whether young or old, seeking the originator of the marriage arrangement is what will make you succeed. As for me, I'm just waiting. Very soon I will. Nidoku, <laughs> we show the best. Adora <laughs> says, was this study conducted in America or Africa? Certainly it should be over there. These studies don't work for a part of the world, period. So are they telling me that I am out of the equation already? <laughs> Hashtag Bufu said. <laughs> Sharif Alidu says, as a man by age 25, you have to get married. But this in this Ghana, due to low economic status, uh, it's difficult to marry early because no lady will marry a man and leave poorer than when she was single. Now, a day she cut or die, says, uh, whoever did this research is human and not God. Marrying late or early in life is your decision, and if the marriage will work or not, it depends on the couple and not somebody's research. Daniel O'Kine says this might actually be true. Most people who get married in their mid 30s do, do so not because they found the right person, but because of societal pressure as a result, more susceptible to divorce. And um, those are some of the comments on Facebook. Ephraim Nimbog says, Marrying early is best. It will help you to develop your family and take good care of your children before you retire and not to use your retirement benefits to take care of your children if all other factors remain constant. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs>